Hi guys, today we're going to be taking a look at a South Korean Granite B um, uniform from 2017. Now this camouflage pattern was introduced in 2010 in conjunction with a uh, wave pat for the South Korean Marine Corps. And um, up until recently, the, apparently the Navy used it as well, although in 2021 they got their own blue camouflage pattern. So this is the current issue pattern of the South Korean you know, armed forces, the regular land forces. And uh, this particular version is a lightweight field uniform, not a jacket, not a rain jacket, just a regular lightweight field uniform. So let's uh, take a closer look. The first thing we're going to be looking at is the camouflage pattern itself. Now from a distance, uh, one thing you'll notice is the somewhat unconventional color scheme. Um, it's got a lot of like pinkish kind of colors there going on, and then once you get close, you'll see how many different colors there are. But yeah, let's take a closer look. So as you can see, clearly it's a you know digital pixelated camouflage pattern. Um, we have primarily the backing color being this olive green, although we do have another shade of green right here. And then in addition, we have small bits of black small bits of brown, and then this pinkish color. It's kind of hard to describe unless you really just see it in person, but I think this is the most interesting color they went with here because it's definitely um, not quite conventional. Um, but yeah, overall, I mean, it, from a distance, you know, it's like pretty, um, pretty good looking. Um, you know, very interesting. Very interesting. We've got some darker spots as well. But yeah, let's just uh, start from the top. So first thing we got here, we got the, the tape for the you know Republic of Korea A Armed Forces. Not sure what this patch is. We got the rank on the collars. These are sewed in. And then there's like little bits of Velcro on the end. And um, you know, name Velcro, which is missing. Most Velcro for this uniform is unfortunately missing, but all the sewed in parts are still there. Backing up, we've got two slanted chest pockets. Um, you'll see this on the Marine uniform as well. And these do have buttons, and it's pleated. So you got these, these two pleats here with quite a bit of extra fabric material. And a pretty, pretty big amount of space to fit your fingers in there. Um, going to the top, we can see here, we've got a zipper to open and close the uniform. Um, this one feels like it used to have some sort of like rubber material on it, but now it's been worn down. So if you undo these Velcro parts right here, what you got is your zipper, and there's another one down there, so you got two. So if you unzip this one, it's honestly not super loud, although I'm sure if you did it fast, it would make a bit more noise. Then you can see here you got your tag, which is pretty much uh, completely faded at this point. The only thing you can really read is uh, the date right here, 2017, the month of April 04. A little bit of the washing instructions, but not much else. It's been thoroughly used. And I think you can tell because, you know, this this pinkish color is a little, a little faded. I mean, most of the uniform examples I've seen have been thoroughly used, so that makes sense. And then if you open it up, what you can see inside is just the interior. Not really too much to say about that. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool seeing the outside from the inside. You got some extra fabric there, but let's put it back together. We'll take a look at the arms. Yeah, so moving along to the left arm, what we've got here is this circular Velcro patch. Might be for the country or unit, I'm not sure exactly. And then there's no other um, no other pockets there, but we do have, you know, Velcro for the wrist, and we have multiple Velcro. I mean, we have this separate patch right here, and then we got a bigger patch. So it really depends on how tight you want to put it around your wrist. Also, I forgot to mention before, but this does have button-up, button, button uh, epaulets. Not sure if these are actually used. There's, like, a little bit of space under here. Um, but yeah, the Marine one, I have not seen these on here. And moving on to the right arm, right there, we've got another patch. This seems more 
shaped like a flag, so flag Velcro, no pockets, and um, yeah, got Velcro. So yeah, the, the material on here is definitely much lighter weight, so probably might be the summer uniform. Um, I know there's different iterations of this, but yeah, this one's definitely like a lightweight ripstop fabric material, as you can clearly see. And I'm going to flip it over again, just so we can see how the pattern looks on a larger scale. And let's see. All right. All right. So there we, there we are, folks, up in this top, you know, middle section. You'll see that there's a lot more of that other green color, not the olive green, and then we've got a, quite a bit of brown and black as well. Um, but then, you know, moving down, there's a bit more of that pinkish color. I'm not sure, like, how big this pattern is scaled, like, how often it repeats itself. I have no clue, but hmm, it's pretty neat. And we've got a little bit of extra fabric here. So, yeah, overall, these things are actually very plentiful on the uh, Asian surplus market. You know, Korea has a pretty large military and uh, I believe they have a conscription system as well. So I'm sure they have a lot of these uniforms that get issued and then get promptly sold off or, you know, they end up somehow in the surplus pipeline. So, you know, the typical price that I've seen for these is around 45 to $50. I think that's a fair price. Sometimes you might be able to find them a little bit cheaper, sometimes a little bit more expensive. The uh, snow parkas are definitely a bit more expensive, around 100 bucks. But for a general, like, lightweight, you know, just a field uniform, not a jacket, I'd say, like, $45 is a reasonable price. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment. And most importantly, have a blessed day. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.